Hello, my name is Ozer and welcome back to Star vs. The Forces Reveal Season 3, Episode 5 and 6. Uh, this is Puddle Defender and King Ludo. Oh no. Uh, that kind of means that Ludo won and took over uh, Muni. God damn. Uh, that's scary. Uh, so yeah, uh, in the last episode, we saw uh, King Butterfly kind of try to. Um, deal with uh, Queen Butterfly's um, like absence and also we saw um, like Ludo burning the book I was like whoa that that's crazy like what like that's this because like that book is quite important for the butterflies and also the High Commission I would think right because it's technically a glossary like that's just crazy and like I I think like well glossary knew like he said he knew but I'm like how how did he know though like that's something it that was never really explained and like <clears throat> so far my questions haven't been answered yet but I, I'm really excited to find out more about how the magic works and everything so maybe in the next few episodes or something like that um, but yeah, uh, so I'm really excited to see this one though. Um, hopefully there's more episodes coming because this is so far the, the episodes that has come out though. Uh, so yeah, with that said, let's go. It's gonna get a little weird, it's gonna go wild. I'm from around here, I'm from another dimension. Getting a little weird, gonna have a good time. Around here, I'm from another. Woohoo! Yeah! I'm talking rainbows, I'm talking puppies. Boop, 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 boop. And it's gonna be a new while. I'm from around here, I'm from another dimension. By the way, if you haven't seen uh, Jackie yet, um, so yeah. And of course you haven't seen um, Ponyhead as well. Um, I like to think that this is not really bad. Well, you're just gonna abandon your your people, though. Well, I mean, she was forced to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I think you don't have a choice, yep. Thank you. He's a little one else right now. Please take a seat. Oh, there's 
Yeah, I think I said that's a good one. I like her hair just like flowing through the wind. She's gonna die. Yeah. Bruh. That was pretty good pancake. Nobody likes you, dude. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, bruh. It is, it is pretty weird, to, to be fair. I don't think it will fit you, bro. No. You're, you're, you're just suffocating yourself right now. Chamber? I don't think this is going to work. Whip. Yeah, he ate it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, I used to be king. <laughs> I kind of got it. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 
Save the card. <laughs> Bro. Dude, what are you doing, Marco? Come on. I was gonna say like wait like what if he could get out of the shackles easier the second time how and then I remember he put butter and I was like oh yeah the butter is still there <laughs> is he gone forever though <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. It, it was uh, it was the oh god. It's poop. Is it is it totally part of the punchline, man. Cause she makes uh, fart jokes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but no, like that that wasn't that wasn't mod at all. <laughs> it was shit. Um, cause they were in a sewer and it kind of like it makes sense because it's medieval times as well. Like any sewers like have like shit and like no matter what anyway uh that was a really good episode um i really enjoyed that like river is kind of like stupid but you know he, he he understands that this is something that you don't run away from like i mean like you know even though i qu kind of questioned a lot like when i finally saw like he he kind of went out to his people i kind of was like oh okay this is what he wanted to do like he wanted to face his people as a guy like as, as a man like you know as a king like a proper king would do like you know <clears throat> he wouldn't just run away and abandon his people well you know if, if he abandoned his people i i would definitely say that he, he would definitely come back as well so um yeah uh i don't think i don't think marco remembers that um you know start told him that 
she likes him. Like I I do I don't really know because like he's he's never mentioned it. I kind of think he he kind of blocked it out as well, and maybe he he's maybe it's deep down inside of him like feeling that motivation to find her as well. So it's not just him missing her. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just him missing her as a friend. You know it's him wanting to to gain the full closure with her as well. Uh, so yeah guys that's about it um, um, nothing much to say uh, about the series but I am more excited about the next few episodes I don't know when they're gonna be released uh, but, like there's only these six episodes like so I'm just waiting for it to kind of like give me more like I mean I'm just waiting for more news to come out about this so uh, yeah guys I uh, really enjoyed this I hope you guys did too um, and you know what I'm, I'm gonna leave uh, with you guys with a uh, small note of endearment here because like I, I definitely think that you know Buffrong has his own like um, own reasons to, to protect uh, Star as well like I definitely think they now that Queen Butterfly has seen um, him as a, as a parent, like that's something interesting that's gonna move on far from there as well. Uh, and yeah, I guess uh, that's about it and um, I will see you in the next episode and remember, if you like this, please leave a like and if you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because you can get all the notifications on my <clears throat> new videos and all that and uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you in the next few episodes. See you then.